Well, I'm just back from a church dedication today. In memory of what you see in the left side there is a man called James Keogh, who went out and uh, founded many churches in Ghana, Pentecostal churches. Um, and what we see is the person on the right is the head of the Pentecostal movement in Ghana and came across and stays in the United Kingdom and spoke today. And, uh, well, you see that uh, he's admitted that he's got some connection with the Roman Catholic Church, as you will see in the film clip. And he also goes into actually blaspheming the Holy Spirit, which we'll have to look at carefully. And later on, uh, this man actually uh, claims that the church is actually bigger than God himself. He makes claims like this. I don't know if he was just high on the occasion or what it was, but uh, certainly the Pentecostal movement has bought over an old church of Scotland and they've done it up, they painted it all, they've done really well. And uh, it's a little bit of a shame that this man's uh, speech today or his teaching for me anyway spoiled the event and uh, we can just examine um, what he's actually said today in this short video. these people for calling an old Scottish evangelist um, the sanctuary after this uh, man, uh, James Kehoe. You seriously, seriously got a question and um, basically pinch yourself when you hear teaching like that in a church. Uh, I know the Ghanaian people are spiritually smart. Um, they know all about the Roman Empire. Many of them have educated themselves and know that uh, it's not really the white people that they should be worried about. It's the Roman Catholic Church, which is the one that uh, goes about uh, exploiting the masses for its own gain. Um, I like the Ghanaian people. Some of the most wonderful Christians I've ever met are from Ghana. But in this case, uh, I really think that this man is uh, really preaching heresy. There's, There's no thin line, there's no uh, in-betweens about this, this man is, is, is just out and out preaching heresy or either that or he has such a distorted misunderstanding about 
who God is, who the Holy Spirit is, and who indeed Jesus Christ is. And uh, if anybody can just go, go up there and uh, wear fancy ties like that, I might add, I mean, I wouldn't wipe my own backside with his tie. I mean, I, I, would, I wouldn't. It says in Scripture that um, an unrighteous man, that you shouldn't even um, touch his garments. Never mind wipe your own backside with his um, colourful ties. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare touch this guy because he's, I believe he's set aside for uh, the wrath of God. And if he continues this, then um, it's sad to see that uh, the actual leadership in the Pentecostal Church isn't dealing with this matter straight away. Um, if it was me, I'd be dealing with it right now. And this is why we have to examine cultures and uh, find that pagan doctrine gets in uh, to the church. And this is what the apostles were speaking about. And the fact that he was trying to say that, uh, that the Spirit of God is everywhere. Well, it says that uh, the Spirit of God only indwells his believers. And that the eyes of the Lord are only upon the righteous. So this um, drastically contradicts what's actually written in the scriptures and our Lord Jesus Christ always quoted from the scriptures and just didn't make things up from his head as this man is doing. So I'd really <clears throat> ask this man to repent. I would really ask this man to get in his face before Yahweh, um, who is the God of gods, who is the Father of Jesus Christ, and really repent of your sin and seek Jesus Christ for real. Do you understand? 